Well, uh, hello my friends uh, from Evolve. I just wanted to show you what rain looks like. I know that down there in uh, Aussie land you don't have much of it, but trust me, here in Europe, uh, in the Netherlands, but also in many other places in the world, we've got plenty of it. That's why this GoPro I'm using is waterproof. The iPhone you can get nowadays is waterproof. Many other products are waterproof, but alas, our fantastic skateboards from Evolve are not yet waterproof. I'm sure that will happen in the future, but until now, there are a lot of customers out there, like I, who have a board that if you go through the water and skateboard uh, through wet surfaces, your board eventually will stop. I had that unfortunate experience with my Carbon GT. I was able to uh, dry it out, and fortunately it worked again, but I didn't want to get that experience again. So I was able to fix some of the waterproofing uh, issues and people asked me how about the bamboo. Now I saw that the bamboo version has some issues as well and now in this video we're going to see where the issues are and if we can fix them. So let's go inside and get started before I get too wet. Okay I actually succeeded. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the result. So before I show you what I did, let me just say a few things. It's actually the next day. Uh, it's sunny, but it's raining outside as well. So even when the sun shines, it's uh, raining here, I guess. Um, but let me just tell you before we start, I, it was for me a bit trial and error as I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I And I'm actually quite impressed with the water tightness of this board. So. Looking back, I can actually say that probably it's enough to just uh, stuff some of the blue tack on the top and the bottom uh, of the uh, of the board um, because there are the biggest gaps, as you'll see in the video. I started off trying to uh, put the blue tack all around the board uh, on the board side. That didn't work out well. Then I put it on the inside of the cover. That worked much better. But as I said, probably you can just uh, manage to only uh, do the top and the bottom from the outside and you don't even have to unscrew it because the sides are actually pretty watertight and look pretty well. So have a look and uh, do as you, uh, as you please. I actually used Bluetack. Uh, as that was recommended to me in my, one of my earlier videos in the comments. That's something that we don't have in the Netherlands, but I ordered it at Amazon. Um, works really well as it doesn't, uh, it's sticky, but it doesn't uh, become uh, solid and doesn't uh, turn into glue, so you can always easily remove it. So let's take a closer look at the Bamboo GT. Let's look at the underneath side. There we obviously have the motor and battery pack. And that's also where the biggest issues occur. If we put it on the side, we can see that the side, and I'll put a little bit of light here, is quite done in a quite watertight way. Also, the front side looks relatively watertight, but the real issue is on the back. And if we look at the back side, it looks like that here can be some issues where the wiring comes in but also a huge gaping gap here. Okay, so I'll start to put a stack of magazines underneath the board so that the battery pack and motor doesn't, well, the battery pack doesn't fall out when I unscrew the screws. screws and let's carefully turn off the board and see what we find. There we go. We see the same kind of material as the uh, carbon has to keep the water out and I think 
here on the sides it might need some extra help to keep the water out during the rainy days. So when you feel the board it has a concave in the middle and that creates here a little bit of a hole so the biggest risk of getting water is actually here and here and where the two wires go out. So that's the first thing that I'm going to work on. Okay, I'm cut up this blue tack in a couple of strips. And run it along the edge. Okay, all closed. doesn't seem to be the right way. It looks ugly and it raises the board too much so I'm going to try in a slightly different way. Okay, let's look at the result. As you can see, I'll shine, as you can see, I'll shine a light here. The seal on the side is there, and the blue tack is on the inside to make sure there is a protective layer. This goes all around here. There's a little bit of the blue tack seeps out, which I can partly remove but what you can see it's very well fastened. Okay. 
other side. Let me turn it around. You basically see the same thing. You can see a little bit of blue where the blue tech meets the underside and then I know for sure that, that is sealed very well. Then let's take a look on the most important part, the top and the bottom. Now the most critical part is the rear where there is always a gap and now you can see here you can clearly see that there still is a gap but it's filled up with blue tack but even so I don't feel 100% comfortable yet so what I'll do here is place a little bit of blue tack and stuff it in there to make sure that no water can actually come in. Squeeze that all the way in there. around the cables looks really nice. Now I have to do the same here and there. So also here I'll be squeezing in a last bit of blue tack as this really is the most vulnerable part of the breach in water tightness. Obviously I'll make this a bit neater, but you get the idea. There we go. Now I'm sure some of you will say, yeah, but it's nice and black and now this is light blue. I'm sure we can work on that too. Let's first look on the other side. There we go, see the blue tank. But also here I'm going to put an extra layer of blue tank because this is the most, the second most vulnerable part. Okay, not too easy to do with one hand. But Here. And an extra piece in the middle. Now if you don't want to open up your Evolve, you don't want to do the hole on the underneath side, you might just get away with doing this the two sides like I did on that side but I think that by doing the whole thing I am much more comfortable when I'm riding out there in wet conditions that my board will keep on going okay obviously I wasn't too happy about the light blue uh, so I took a magic marker and now it's nicely black also on the other side, you can see here, the ceiling is all black and neatly sealed. No water can come in there anymore. And with that, I think we have a nicely sealed evolve. And now that I sealed the board, I wanted to test it out right away. So I went out in the rain to see how the board and the seal, uh, the seal held up in the rain and I must say it was beautifully so no issue there at the same time I quickly uh, uh, went up the hill where there is a cobblestone 
uh, as Volker in an earlier video requested to do the same thing with the old terrain wheels as in that video I went up with the street views and it was pure hell as you can see as well also in the rain going up on some really rough terrain uh, it goes like a dream so uh, as I said very happy with the Evolve skateboard and uh, even happier now that I uh, can go out if the roads are wet without being afraid that I'll ruin my board. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them below so we can all learn from each other and uh, happy riding. out for a spin and uh, in the rain and obviously the board is wet but the seals kept up nicely no problem whatsoever obviously it's not the nicest thing to do in the world to go out in the rain as you get wet but it's a good feeling and I know that the board will survive I also showed you that I was driving up the hill on a cobblestone path in an earlier video with the street version you could see that it was not a very pleasant experience and as you could see it was I went up there like a dream was not a problem whatsoever not on wet cobblestone path and uh, therefore I really like these all-terrain wheels anyway enjoy riding hope you enjoyed the video